Hi, I'm George Pearson. In a previous video, I compared Luminar 2018 to Adobe Lightroom and showed you why you may want to use one or the other, and also how you can use Luminar as a replacement for the Adobe Lightroom program. In this video, I'll show you how you can install Luminar 2018 as a plugin inside of Lightroom and then get the best of both programs. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and, of course, share with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to learn a lot more about these different programs that I'm discussing, take a look at my complete training and you'll find a link for that in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start this off just by opening up an image. Several ways to do that. Open button right here, little open drop down right here, or file open. Any of these work. And I'll just choose just a picture in here to open this up. Once we have one open up in our workspace, you can see the main thing that I like about Luminar, and that's all of these different presets down below at the bottom down here. You can change your look just by clicking on a different preset. Here is the image enhancer preset. You can adjust the amount of enhancement right there. It's a great tool to very easily and quickly make some adjustments and changes in here to the look of your image real fast. Just a nice little black and white, just like that. A little adjustment on the amount of black and white. You can use kind of a, a low key color here effect with that black and white. And there are several libraries as well. We have different categories, basic, dramatic, outdoor, portrait, street, lots of stuff in here that you can use to very quickly do some real nice adjustments and enhancements on your images. Real nice thing. Now, stuff on the right hand side over here, this is similar to what you have over in Lightroom where you can set all of the values individually that you're using in this particular preset. Just it'll scroll down and see all the different values in here. So it's very, very controllable, customizable. It does a real nice job at this quick access to looks and then adjusting those looks. So again, this is the main thing that I like about Luminar is all of these different presets. Now it'd be great if we could access all of this stuff from inside of Lightroom. And there is a way to do that. Go up here to File and come down here to Install Plugins right there. What this does is it checks your system to see if you have Photoshop or Lightroom installed on your system. I have both in here, of course. I'm just going to install the plugin here into the Lightroom program. And once that's done, I'll show you how you can then access the Luminar right from inside of Lightroom. Let's go ahead, we'll click on Install. There we go, installed and done. Now I'll go over and open up Lightroom and let's see how this works. Here we are inside of Lightroom. This is Lightroom Classic CC. And looking at my library, as you can see, and we're just zoomed in on this one image here. Let's switch over here to the Develop. Now, of course, they have all the standard stuff in here. I have all of my presets over here, all the Lightroom presets right over here on the left-hand side. Lots of great stuff, of course, in here that can be done. You see a little sampling in there. Let's do our basic classic filters in here, different black and white filters and so forth. So you can have all this stuff, but it's not quite as easy to use as the ones over inside of Luminar. Now there are two ways to get this image over to Luminar now that we have it installed as a plugin. Let me just first show you that. Go up to File and then come down to Plugin Extras here and we can transfer right here to Luminar 2018. I'm going to show you this. We'll then come back and I'll show you my preferred way to actually work on this over in Luminar. So let's click on this. This then opens up the Luminar program with that image opened up. Here it loads the image. There we go. We can then come down here and make our adjustments. Let's change our category here to dramatic. And I'll do kind of dramatic grungy. That looks kind of fun. So easy as you can see here to use all of the Luminar tools on this image. Do a real fast, nice look. I can then go over here to File, Exit, and this will then allow me to save that image right here. But one thing that this will do if I go this route 
is it saves it on top of my original image, which I try to not do. I try to always save onto a new image if possible. I don't have a save as option here, as you can see. So let me show you how you can fix that. I'll just close this down. Not save that one. There we go. So we're back inside of Lightroom again. The other way to get this image over into Luminar, which I think is a better way to go, is go up to File and Export right here. And here, one of our options on export is Luminar 2018. So it's actually added into the export options as well. And here I can edit a copy right here. So I can actually edit out over to Luminar as a copy, export to Luminar. Again, we're opening this back up in Luminar again. We can do our edits over here, but it's not going to be on a copy of that. Let's go ahead and change back to that dramatic and that dramatic grunge look. There it is, real nice fast grunge look. We can apply that. Exporting our image. That's the apply button right up there, upper right hand corner. And that takes us right back into Lightroom again. Kind of hard to see down here, the thumbnail isn't showing yet, but here we are at the end of the library, and there is the image which I just made just now. Again, thumbnail's not on it yet at this point. It'll, it'll reset. And if you look at the name right down in here, as I roll over that, there it is. That adds on the end on this name that it's a Luminar 2018, and it's an edit, and it saved it as a TIFF file, which is what we set up when we did that export function. So we're able to come in and take our original image, which is way over here, is our first one right over there. We took that, we exported that out to Luminar, did our Luminar adjustment, our fast grunge look, and there's our thumbnail brought back in again, and it exported that out as a copy. Once we did our adjustments over there, it came right back in here to Photoshop Lightroom again with our nice grunge look and saved as a new file. So that's why I like working with this program, working with the two together. So let me show you that again. I'll grab something else. Let's just, I'll grab that kind of crazy cat right here. There we go. We're still in develop, of course. And once again, this file. My favorite way to do this is to come down and export. Edit copy right there. That's when you want. You can even make adjustments in here. You can give this a group name if you want to actually put it into one of your groups. You can choose your image format here, original or TIFF. I'll stick with the TIFF. You can choose to compress or not. That's again a TIFF option. You can adjust your color space in here. I'll leave it at the default color space, bit depth. When you click on export, let's just see this again. It will take us right over into the Luminar 28 program. We'll apply our effect and it will then take us right back over again. So here we are. Here's our basic set of filters, our basic presets. I'm just kind of scroll through these things, see what looks good, if anything looks interesting. Let's go to the black and white, actually. There we are. And then I'll use the amount here and just kind of tone down the black and white a little bit and do a black and white, just a little bit of color in there. Once that's done, I give them this real low color setting in here. Just click on Apply right here. It's going to apply that, export that image back over into Lightroom again, and then we can go ahead and finish the image off inside of Lightroom. And there it is. We're back into Lightroom again. There is the new image so here. There's the original. There's our image right there. So we still have our original image. And here's our new real low saturation version of that same image as a new image. So there you go. That's how you can use Luminar 2018, which I really enjoy, especially all those presets. Very easy to use. And work with that inside of Lightroom as a plugin. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.